Hey there everyone! I am next to one of my favorite plants here. Yeah, can you guess what it is? Well, I figured that I'm gonna do, I might try to make it into a series, maybe, maybe not. But I figured today, I'm just gonna kinda talk a little bit about how appreciating the beauty of nature, and especially when it comes to plants, that it can actually help with depression, like uplifting your mood, just kinda like looking at the green. And so this plant here, I mean, it looks really tropical looking. Look how bright green it is. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell uh, through the video, but these leaves are gigantuous. I mean, they are, I would say, at least uh, almost two feet length and eight inches wide. I mean, these are some of the biggest leaves I have seen, almost the size of like uh, banana tree plant leaves, but What's really cool is, as you can see here, the, these flowers are like bright yellow, like two of my favorite colors mixed into this awesome plant. And what the thing about this plant is, the unfortunate part is it does give off a smell. And hence, what I'm about to say is, these are skunk cabbage. Yes, good old skunk cabbage. And it's too bad that they're not edible, but then again, I mean, these are just like, I would hate to like even like pick at it if it were edible, but I guess, I mean, if only it was edible, you get some awesome nutrients from the earth. But yeah, there's just something about these plants. Maybe it's the size of them. Maybe it's a bright green colored with their yellow. And it's like this one's kind of, it's losing its flower, but bright yellow. And the combination of green and yellow just makes me really like this plant and if i come over here there's another one growing over here and if i just got to make my way over here but that's what i like about these plants is it signifies the beginning of spring because these plants typically come into bloom right about the beginning of springtime march is when you start to first see them up here and they're actually like they generate their own heat like in part, in certain parts of the country, you'll actually see them pop up through the snow. Really cool. They're actually thermogenic. They generate heat. But yes, huge plant leaves. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, they do smell. And that's and the thing too is, when you if you actually crunch the leaf or tear the leaf apart, it will actually give off even a worse odor. So. Now that's the thing. You don't want to trample it because otherwise, it's going to definitely smell pretty skunky if you start trampling it or tearing apart the leaves. But maybe that's its like defense mechanism. And just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because yeah, it's one of those things that uh, just kind of finding like things in nature, especially like plants. I don't know, I've seen to have gotten really interested in various plants and especially like leaves, very different types of leaves. But I mean, it's like, whenever I'm just like out in a trail and I see like one of these things, I'm like thinking to myself, oh, look at all that spinach. Or look at all that cabbage. But no, I mean, it is, it's not edible. It's actually poisonous. I believe if you try to eat it, you would get like a burning sensation in your mouth, your throat, and then it will actually like make you, it can constrict your airway. So yeah, pretty much uh, not a good idea to eat these things. So pretty much just to look at. And as far as touching them, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe not, but I'm doing it anyways. But yeah, these are just some of the coolest plants here. And that's a great way to kind of just like uplift your mood looking at these fabulous skunk cabbages. What a name for a plant, skunk cabbage. It's just, the name just doesn't seem suitable for such a beautiful plant, but I guess because of its smell, the smell, yeah, has to give it a bad rap. But if you're in a wet area, they like to grow, as you can see here, nice wet areas. So you'll find them alongside in ditches, especially if there's a lot, a lot of standing water. They really like that wet environment. Uh, I'm not sure why some of the leaves are broken off. Maybe there are some brave insects out there that will actually munch in the leaves. But uh, yeah, that's kind of that's my spiel for a day and helping to kind of like improve that mood. It's just kind of appreciating nature and especially the plants of nature. So. Hope you guys enjoy that, but yeah, some good old skunk cabbage. Oh yeah, it looks like, kind of looks like a form of cabbage or maybe a form of spinach.
spinach. <laughs> okay, guys, well, that's all for now, but I'll be back at you guys with another video, hopefully before too long, but once again, take care, everyone. Peace out.